Good morning everybody, Ken from Adventure on the Horizon. Today I'm going to do something different. We're going to do a vlog, video log, instead of the normal blog with photographs, we'll have video. And what I want to do is go out to our truck, which we call Adam. Uh, the Adam comes from Beauty and the Beast. Prince Adam was the beast. And what I want to show you is six things that most people will not have in a passenger car. Uh, RVers may have some or all of them, uh, but they'll be give you a, a, a feeling for what it's like to be driving down the road uh, in a fifth wheel and the things you're monitoring as you go along. And uh, so I'm starting inside the RV and uh, because the lighting is better and then we'll go outside to the truck and I'm going to show you an overview of the four things that you can see from the driver's uh, out, out the front windshield from the driver's station and uh, then uh, a couple other things down below and then a cute little invention that we did. So first let's start with an overview of all the devices. You see four things in this picture. There's one in the upper left, there's one in the lower left, there's one in the upper right, and there's one in the lower right. Upper left, which I'm pointing to here, is a tire pressure monitoring gauge. It measures the tire pressure and temperature of all 12 of our tires on the truck and the uh, fifth wheel. Uh, down here in the lower left corner we have the cameras. Uh, it shows left, right, and rear of um, the trailer. Up here on the upper right we have a dash cam that we can use to, to film as we go down the road. And here we have a, an RV specific GPS. So, uh, in addition, now from there, if you go down uh, to the lower right, you'll see a uh, Kelderman. Um, this is the device that uh, we can use to put air in or dump air out of our um, uh, airbags. And, and over in the bottom left, this is the uh, brakes. So these, the brakes from the trailer are tied to the brakes in the truck. Uh, so now let me go through these one by one. First up is the tire pressure monitor. As you can see, it's called uh, Easy Tire, uh, EEZ Tire. Um, uh, this measures uh, each tire. What it does is rotates through the tires, starts at the front right, and then it goes front left, back right, back left, then it goes the trailer, right and left, working its way back and it continuously monitors as we drive. Uh, this has turned out to be very helpful uh, because we have had a leak in a tire that we didn't know about, we couldn't tell as we were driving, and uh, got in the truck in the morning and discovered we had no pressure, I had to put air in it. Uh, kept adding air until we could get to a tire place and replace the tire. And uh, otherwise we would have had a essentially a flat tire as we were going down the road. Then what happened is we replaced that tire put a new one on it they put too much air in it and so it flashed after we were driving down the road a bit and it heated up a little bit that it was over our tire pressure so it's turned out to be helpful to us uh, both from a, a case of too much pressure and too little the cameras are difficult to see because there's so much reflection and that's what the black hood is over the top of the cameras to try and prevent that what you're looking at right now um, that is the back view of the camera. So what you can see is the deck that we have mounted on the back and then and with some uh, uh, mounted on top of it are the uh, the ramps and then the Can-Am trailer and the campground behind it. If I touch the screen you can see other views. Uh, this will be the view out the left side of the trailer this is the view out the right side of the trailer, which is helpful when you go to change lanes or back. Uh, the camera will automatically, when I turn on the left turn signal, switch to the left side. Uh, when I turn the right signal on, it'll switch to the right side. Uh, when I um, apply the brakes, it will show um, the entire thing. I can Normally what happens is I have the rear view on as I drive. This is super helpful when you're backing into a spot. Uh, it's just incredible because uh, you the, you have a blind side. As you turn the trailer, you can see 
uh, the, the side that's the short side, but the long side will be out of your view. So it's really helpful. This is our dash cam. It's a GoPro. Uh, so we can either take this in time-lapse mode as we drive down the road, which gives you the highlights of the trip, or you can take it in um, uh, regular video mode, which gives you a, a history of the whole trip. This is our Garmin GPS. We love it. It's a Garmin 760, which are uh, no longer in production. Uh, we really like it. Um, um, one of the things that we really like about it um, is that it is RV specific. You put in the height, the width, and the length of your RV, and it will create routes for you that will not have uh, uh, bridges that are too low or turns that are too sharp or um, bridges that uh, won't bear your weight limit. And uh, so uh, it's, it's a special thing. For our, our RV, we have it set up as being 8 foot 6 inches wide, 60 feet long, 13 feet high, and uh, with a gross weight of 16 tons. So uh, the cautions that we get are risk of grounding, lateral wind, narrow roads, and it also gives us an alert for speed changes in addition to not taking us on any roads that meet this criteria. It's a little frustrating sometimes because we've forgotten to change it back to just the truck mode and it takes us on uh, roundabout routes because it wants to make sure that we're safe but uh, it's been a great help and we highly uh, endorse it. Uh, answer any questions for if people have about this device in particular. Down to the bottom left these are our, is our brake the brakes on the RV are automatically tied to the brakes in the truck so that when I put on the brakes, uh, it will automatically um, uh, apply the separate brakes to the trailer proportional to the truck. If I want to do extra brake, what I can do is reach down to this little manual control here as I drive and pull this over. Occasionally, uh, when I've seen something where we need to stop in a hurry, it has been really helpful to have that. So the last item is this, the cheapest and simplest and sometimes the most valuable. <laughs> this is our little uh, eating on the go. Since you can't uh, always find a place to stop, you certainly can't go through a drive through uh, We wind up meeting, um, eating most lunches on the road. And it turned out that having a bowl of popcorn or a a bunch of grapes or whatever uh, was uh, difficult to handle while I was driving and so we came up with this little invention so it's a cup that fits in a cup holder taped to a bowl on the top and you put popcorn in there or you put the grapes in there and you can eat as we go and be safe so there you have it those are our uh, seven tools and toys in the um, front of our Adam, our truck. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.